astronomers running the world's largest initiative to look for alien life have recently picked up an intriguing radio signal from the direction of Proxima Centauri, the closest star to our Sun. The star is too faint to be seen from Earth with the naked eyes, but it is the closest star to our solar system. It is just 4.2 light years away. This infrared star hosts an Earth-sized planet, named Proxima b, which is in its habitable zone, where liquid water could allow the chemistry of life on the planet's surface. There was no scientific paper accompanying the report, therefore it's too early to draw any conclusions. The radio signal came from the same direction in which Proxima Centauri is located. Apparently the signal showed up during five, 30-minute periods over several days, while the telescope was pointing directly at Proxima Centauri. Notably, when the telescope was turned away from the star, the signal vanished. Ultimately, the signal's origin appears tightly constrained within a 16-inch wide circle, roughly half the size of the full moon, around Proxima Centauri on the sky. Before we continue further, be sure to subscribe to our channel, that way you won't miss any of our weekly videos. This signal could turn out to be the real deal, a calling card from another civilization. Astronomers at the Breakthrough Listen project, started by the legendary physicist Stephen Hawking, regularly spot blasts of radio waves using two powerful telescopes. All of their findings so far have been attributed either to natural sources or the interferences caused by humans. Unlike the project's previous findings, the beam picked up from the direction of Proxima Centauri which has been named Breakthrough Listen Candidate 1 has two interesting characteristics. The first one is the signal frequency is 982 MHz which is a narrow band value that is not transmitted by any human-made spacecraft or satellites. Neither do we know of any natural astronomical phenomenon that can generate such a radio signal. The second one is that the apparent shift in this frequency is reportedly consistent with the movement of the planet. This raises the possibility that the emission could be an alien techno signature, meaning something which provides evidence of alien technology and could have appeared from some form of advanced extraterrestrial intelligence. According to The Guardian, the signal was found in the archival data of the Parks Observatory, which picked up the beam in April and May last year. It has not been spotted again. Scientists are currently working on a paper to explain this, which is expected to be released early next year. There are also reasons to believe that the signal might not mean aliens. Since only the Parks Observatory has picked up the signal, which has not appeared since, it would be impossible to verify that it came from Proxima Centauri. Another possibility could be that the signal could have been caused by something behind Proxima Centauri or by a natural phenomenon whose existence we so far do not know of. Proxima b, one of the two planets that revolve around the star is the subject of significant curiosity. The planet is 1.2 times larger than Earth and orbiting its star every 11 days, Proxima b lies in the Goldilocks zone of its star, this is the area around a star where it is not too hot and not too cold for liquid water to exist on the surface of surrounding planets. To give an example, the Earth is in the Sun's Goldilocks zone. However, this does not mean for sure that water is present on Proxima b. It could also be hostile to life if its atmosphere has been stripped away by solar flares from Proxima Centauri. Proxima b is also tidally locked with its star, just like the Moon is to Earth meaning the one side of the planet has daylight forever, while the other side is always dark. Scientists say that it is difficult to imagine that Proxima b could have a stable climatic system under such conditions. It remains one of the most intriguing signals found by the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence program till date, one that we can compare to the so-called WOW signal detected in 1977, which many people believe to be of extraterrestrial origin.